Hello, and welcome to What's Bubbling is in Buell. I am Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we're going to continue to take a look at the new things in Zim 10.5.0. Let's go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com, and we'll go into the, the docs here and look up updates. So these are some of the smaller updates because we've already looked at uh, some of the bigger ones. One is the CDN update and a marquee. So the marquee, let's make that bigger for you. The marquee we looked at in the previous bubbling, as well as the list pull down improvement there with um, the list items. So some of the other things, and we'll combine all of these uh, kind of quickly in this, in this bubbling. Maybe we'll look through, through some things, but in general, I just want to kind of get through them. There's dot animate. A little while ago, CreateJS added uh, the ability to tween a, a property that is on another property. So for instance, if we want to tween the X property of a rotation property on some object, we couldn't do, we, we could do that. We had to do it in two steps. We would make this uh, blank object. We would tween a value in that. And then as we did that, we would apply that value to the, the X position of the rotation. So it was a two step process. And it comes out, out when you do things like uh, try and tween 3JS because 3JS have, have all their rotations and um, positions and stuff like that on uh, another property. So CreateJS came out with the dot syntax, and what we've done is we've incorporated that new plugin or that plugin by them into our version of CreateJS, and we're calling that CreateJS 1.2.0. So 1.2.0 slash CreateJS min now will have this plugin. And that can be handy because we can do some animation. For instance, this guy right here, let's refresh this or run it. This animation that we're about to see. We is an animation. This is Z Dog. It's called a little 3D thing that's quite fun. And we're bringing Z Dog into Zim so that we can spin it like that and then hit the reset and animate it. Or we can animate it indeed. We can animate the pieces of it like that. Isn't that cool? Now it does that flipping in and out. They just say to embrace it. And I kind of. <laughs> whatever. I embrace it. <laughs> it's just fun and kind of quirky, funky. Um, so there we go. And we hit reset and whoosh, and back it goes. But if we zoom in on this stuff, we can see that as we're animating, let's find some animation that's us making the parts. When we need to set things, we're setting the rotation dot x, so the rotation around x, the translation around z. So when we're animating now, let's find an animation. This looks like one. There's, uh, an, it's an animate object that we're going to pass in, and there indeed we're animating along the tran, translate x, and we're doing that a relative 100. Now, CreateJS's versions of these are a little bit different. First of all, you have to put a dot in front of there, and I go, oh, I'm going to totally forget that. Um, so I made it so that you can do one or the other as well. Their relative animation needs a plus sign in front of it, a quote around it with a plus sign. Well, you don't really need that. So where do we do a relative in? Uh, create Jess's version, you have to do it like that or a minus. Uh, Zim, you can just relative 100 or put in a minus. So we've had to make it so both those work. Anyway, that was one thing, so that we could uh, make this kind of stuff work here. Oops, something moved on that, I think, because I re-ran the, uh, changed the scale of the whole browser a lot. <laughs> All right, so that was the dot animate. And another thing is a replay tween. So there's now a reset tween, which will put it back to the beginning, and a replay tween. Uh, I think the replay goes back to the beginning automatically. Yes, it does. Now, the one thing we don't have there is a rewind tween, which would take any tween and play it backwards to the beginning. Uh, we'll look into doing that. It's a little complicated to kind of set that up, and there are ways that you can do it with dynamic animation, where you just put the rewind in to start, and therefore you can um, go back to the beginning uh, by setting by animating its um, percent complete and back to zero. Uh, we did something along the lines there. Maybe we'll see it as we go down and take a look at some more. But anyway, we have a replay tween, so that's cool. Um, then general. 
ones. Uh, there's a little make of an icon, so the little Z Zim icon. We've added that. That's sort of a 360 byte um, custom vector Z, if if you so desire. Oh, there it is. Animate return method of a target of animate. So does that mean we can do it? Added animate return. Uh, it works when animating on a path. Okay, so that's animating on a path. It will then return back to the beginning. And we did see that on the little marquee example in the, the previous What's Bubbling or you know, one before that, where when we, an we dragged along a path, we got to the end, and this animate return will take us back to the very beginning. It's a little bit tricky to do that. It doesn't have to go to the end of the path. It can animate return from anywhere. So that's great, but we don't have a general rewind tween from just sort of a normal tween. We don't have a, a command to make it rewind. You could put a rewind in the tween when you make it. So anyway, that's where we're at there. We uh, fix some blob and squiggle stuff, changing the center ridge and shifting points, uh, fix sliders. A lot of, um, we tidied up in this version, we tidied up more of the Zim Retina things that were coming up. Uh, I know one was on the scale of, of fonts. Fonts weren't centering properly because uh, now different font, fonts uh, bounds are being man manipulated somehow by the scale of the stage. So we uh, had to rework on that. That was quite the rework to get that going, but I think we've got it in Zim 10.5. Five. So really, you do need to update to 10.5 if you want your uh, fonts to scale properly in, in the center thing. Which, uh, <laughs> it came about when somebody was using, <laughs> thank you very much, Bert, uh, was using a 5K monitor. <laughs> and that has that scales the stage basically five times. Um, and so some even minor differences like pixel differences were starting to appear and all of a sudden, hey, wait a minute, that font's on the top of the button. What's it doing at the top of the button? That kind of thing. All right. Um, read write sensitivity to the swiper. Fix dynamo, dynamo, and accelerate to pause, not break. Okay, some some of these I guess are fixes throughout. You can certainly read through it. Uh, I should read through it too. <laughs> Make color picker force uppercase. Added a checkbox parameter for styles for the list. So we added that new new stuff to the checkbox. Um, just to animate sequence to work properly with pause animate. Yes, uh, sequences and pause animates are sort of, uh, it was run by timeouts initially, and that wasn't um, the start pause. Anyway, we went in and we worked for days on animate to get all these sequences uh, working as well. You can come in and read that if it's going to apply to you. Improvement, adjusted Zim labels, right? So that's the labels and Zim is different. Just watch that. Zim is different than HTML. We default to top and we default uh, to left. So we're defaulting to left in terms of horizontal alignment and defaulting to top in terms of vertical. Where that may get confusing, I suppose, is <laughs> one, because we had it wrong in the documentation up until now. So we noticed that and uh, changed the documentation. And two, uh, in buttons and, and lists and things, uh, well, a list is made up of tabs, tabs are made up of buttons, buttons have labels, and, and all that stuff goes back. And all, for all those, we center uh, V, align center those labels so that they stay in the middle of the buttons and stuff like that. So that's that's a default for all the buttons. But if you're just going to make a um, if you're just going to make some text and put it on a uh, put a backing or background on it, uh, you're going to be V align top on that. All right, we added support for zip or pick on the colors of, of buttons as well so that we can, uh, the, the handy thing for that is alternating colors on lists. So I don't know if you remember, we did that in the one of the Zim marquees, we had alternating colors on that. That was, uh, that was made possible when we applied Zik to buttons. And that means that we can pass in a series there of colors and every time a button is made, or in other words, since the, since the list is made up of tabs, which are made up of buttons, <laughs> every time a button gets made on the tab, it alternates color. So that's pretty cool. 
and we've done all these updates. We had to make some updates to when we change the CDN number, there is a way that you can get a text version of the docs, and that was broken. There's a way you can get code view, and that was broken. Zoo was broken, just still uh, needed to be fixed and stuff. So all those have been updated to point to the right CDN locations for things, as well as actually the updates of the docs. When we create the docs, we just go, hey, run this thing, and the docs get created, and that had to, to be done as well. We've gone into TypeScript and on GitHub and Node Package Manager and made the updates there as well. The one thing that we'll want to add to this pretty soon is the fact that we made bubbling videos. Yay! And that's now. Uh, this will be, I suppose, the last bubbling video. Uh, wasn't that fun to kind of see ZDog? Uh, come on into, uh, we've got to update one, one area that we need to update is Zim uh, is our examples. In the examples section, whoa, we're big. Are we still big? We're getting smaller. So in our examples section, we have our code pen. That was the initial one with ZDog, but we've done maybe five more since this time. So we need to update these. Uh, yes, we need to update those. Update, 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 update. And also these guys, if we're making little games, which we are doing in the games apps. We have some, we put some in there. This one right here is a code pen game, a new code pen game. And any other ones? Nope, that's it. So there's a couple more code pen games that we've been doing that are a lot of fun. If you want to see them, hey, why not? We'll click in here. Which ones is this? This is the, I'm in Dan Zen, but I want to be on Zim to see the new ones. Um, I guess my dashboard. The new games are this one right here, next. Oh, it, it isn't dance. <laughs> Darn. Uh, let's see, how do I find a dance end thing? So I go to Code Pen. We're almost there. We can make it. Look at that URL. My goodness. Dan Zen. So you see that? Code Pen IO slash Dan Zen. We're in Dan Zen. Unfortunately, this is kind of the old, I don't like this either. This whole thing goes gray. I'm trying to show you, trying to show you this thing. And as soon as I roll over it, it does that. Uh, but anyway, we now have to say all pens because the showcase, you got to update the showcase. And this, this one, which I can't show you because as soon as I roll over it, it goes to a bunch of text. Anyway, that, that one right there is, uh, is a game of, uh, where hair falls on it. Isn't that cool? So the, the, this was for the noodle theme. Oh, and you don't want that to happen. So we just stop. This went red and our, our noodle fell off. But as soon as I pick it up, we get to start keeping time. Oh, but it fell down again. Uh, so the idea behind this is <laughs> you're supposed to keep the noodle, keep the, the, the hair and the rasta guy here. <laughs> Let's just start over again. Anyway, do you get the idea? I thought that was kind of funny. So you get this head and the head is twitching like that. And you have to pick up these uh, these strands of noodles. This is done with Zim Physics. That's, that's all linkage. You have to keep the noodles on the head as, as the head twists back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> like that. How am I doing? Oh, and I held it on for 73 seconds. Yeah. Um, you think it's kind of easy, like I'm not having to do very much right now, but then um, it just kind of, all of a sudden it twitches a few times the wrong way and it starts to make a calamity. It's it's fun. So come on into CodePen and check it out. And we've got to get some of these games updated on the site as well. So uh, that we're matching there. Bye bye, hairs. All right, well, that'll do. At least you saw a little bit of excitement here in the What's Bubbling at Zim. I am Dr. Abstract, and if you've made it this far, I've said this before, if you've heard me say this before, and you've made it this far, that means you've... Um, that means you're interested in Zim, so make sure you come in and hang out with us. We're on Slack, zimjs.com slash Slack. Please introduce yourself. Well, actually, I'll probably introduce myself first. I'm also Dan Zen, my secret identity. Or is Dr. Abstract my secret identity? No, I'm trying to make that not my secret identity. All right, now I have so many identities. We'll talk to you later. Ciao.